Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. Well, in this video we will talk about how we can share a drive with another computer. For this video demonstration, I'm using Hyper-V Manager. As we can see, two virtual machines already created, Server 2019 and Windows 10. So this is the Server 2019 and this is our Windows 10. Both of them are already set to use static IP address. Let's go ahead, open command prompt. First, let's go check the IP address, IP config. Here we can see the IP address on Windows 10. Let's open command prompt. Now let's see if we can ping server. 192.168.1.19, that's the IP address of a server. So here we can see host name. As you can see on previous videos, we did already add three virtual hard drives to our Windows 10 virtual machines. So if I open Hyper-V Manager and go into the settings of Windows 10, right click settings. Here we can see three virtual hard drives added to this virtual machine. Let's click cancel and let's go to Windows 10. Now let's go ahead and create new storage pool. So we need to click start storage space. Or we can go to the control panel, system and security, and then storage spaces. Okay, let's go ahead and click on create new pool and storage space. Yes. To continue, here we can see our three virtual hard drives already attached to our Windows 10 virtual machine. In the real world case scenario, we are using physical hard drives. So here we can see all of them. I'm going to go ahead and select create pool. Let's call it rate 5 storage and then i'm going to go ahead and use the parity let's say 2 terabytes and in the future we can add more physical hard drives to this storage space and then create storage space now we should be able to see it if we go to this pc this is our e drive storage space we just created what we need to do we need to share the drive so right click properties and then going to the share tab advanced sharing enable the share let's call it rate 5 e drive and then permissions for this video demonstration i'm selecting everyone full control allow full control for everyone in the real world case scenario you are adding the appropriate group and assigning the proper permissions here Apply, OK, OK, and close. So here we can see it's already shared as we can see this icon. So we should be able to access. How can we access it? If I right click properties, go into the share tab. Here we can see it tells us this is the actual UNC path, universal naming conventions path, backslash, backslash, Windows 10 backslash, RAID 5 E drive. This is how we can access. We can also use the IP address. Okay, let's click OK. Let's go to our server. And here we can see if I click start on the server and then backslash backslash Windows 10 backslash. If I press enter, I should be able to see all the shared drive. So let's press enter. It's asking for password from server we are accessing windows 10 so the username it was paymon and password okay so here we can see this is the drive so if i open this is our network drive we can simply copy this and also we can map the drive so this is only one time access for example if i right click new folder test and if I go to Windows 10 this is our Windows 10 if I go to the e drive here we can see test folder is already here if I go back to server so how can we attach this drive to the server so every time we go to this PC we can see it here that's known as mapping network drive so from here we can right click this PC and map network drive and we can specify the path. Where was it? Using the UNC path, Universal Naming Conventions, backslash, backslash, Windows 10, name of the computer, and name of the drive that has been shared. 
we can say reconnect at signing and we can say connect using different credentials finish it will ask question what credentials we want to use the username and password of windows 10 let's use different paymon password remember okay this is let's say test 2 if I go to Windows 10 here I can see test 2 on Windows 10 if I create a new text document test 2 doc and if I go to Windows Server here I, inside test 2 I can see the document let's close everything so what we did on Windows 10 we created the storage pool and then from storage pool we created storage space then we did share this drive and then on server here this is server we did map and network drive so every time when we go to this PC we can see the drive and here we can see it's on the remote computer so as long as the IP addressing is correct if computers can ping and our Windows 10 up and running then we should be able to access the drive so if I go to the drive and create another folder let's say test three and if I open our Windows 10 this is Windows 10 inside e drive I should be able to see test 3 and then from here inside test 3 folder if I create new text document test 3 doc now if I go to server I should be able to see inside test 3 I should be able to see the doc so this was quick overview of how we can create storage pool and create storage space on Windows 10 and then how we can share so from another computer in this case on server mapping a network drive and be able to access it. How did we map a network drive? Simply right click this PC, map network drive and type the address, the UNC path and then providing the username and password and finish. So every time when we restart the computer here we should be able to see the drive. This was quick overview of how we can share our drive and be able to access it from another computer. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. To see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. And I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the like button. Thanks again and have a good day.